North Korea has said it is still willing to talk at any time in any form after U.S. President Donald Trump abruptly cancelled his meeting with Kim Jong-un. Vice Foreign Minister Kim Kai Gwan said Mr. Trump's decision was extremely regrettable. President Trump blamed the North's open hostility for the cancellation. The summit would have been the first time a sitting U.S. president had met a North Korean leader. Details of the meeting in Singapore on the 12th of June were unclear. But talks would have focused on ways of denuclearizing the Korean peninsula and reducing tensions. Just hours before Mr. Trump's announcement, North Korea said it carried out its promise to dismantle tunnels at its only nuclear test site. Mr. Trump announced the cancellation in the form of a letter personally addressed to Mr. Kim. A senior administration official in the U.S. later gave further details, saying North Korea had shown a profound lack of good faith. There were a series of broken promises, from Pyongyang, the official told reporters, including when the White House sent the deputy chief of staff to Singapore to meet North Korean diplomats ahead of the summit. The North Koreans didn't show up. They simply stood us up. The official also said President Trump had dictated every word of his letter to Kim Jong-un. Mr. Trump said he had been very much looking forward to meeting Mr. Kim. Sadly, based on the tremendous anger and open hostility displayed in your most recent statement, I feel it is inappropriate, at this time, to have the long-planned meeting, Mr. Trump said in a letter to Mr. Kim. You talk about your nuclear capabilities, but ours are so massive and powerful that I pray to God they will never have to be used, he added. But he called the meeting a missed opportunity, saying, Someday, I look very much forward to meeting you. In a later statement at the White House, Mr. Trump said the step was a tremendous setback for North Korea and the world, adding the U.S. military was ready, if necessary, to respond to any reckless act from North Korea.